today we will discuss about the simple gear train and compound gear train in this lecture firstly we will discuss about the simple gear train working and parts we have a gear which is a driver gear and a driven gear which will be driven by this driver gear but there are space in between driver and driven gear and it will be filled by the intermediate gear when this driver gear rotate it will rotate this gear in the opposite direction and by this rotating this will rotate this driven gear in the opposite direction and the direction of driver and driven will be same because of the intermediate gear we will see the side view of the simple gear train this is driver this is intermediate gear and this is driven gear we will see the working of the simple gear train driver will rotate and intermediate gear will rotate and then driven gear will be rotate this is the working of the simple gear train now we will discuss about the compound gear train we have a driver gear and is it is connected to the driven gear driven gear is connected to a small gear which is a second driver for the this driven gear means in the center of these two gears we have a two gears a driven gear bigger one is driven gear and smaller one is driver gear which will driven this gear if we will see the side view of the compound gear train we can understand easily this is the larger one gear and this is the smaller one gear as we see this one and this is connected to the small gear is connected to the large gear this small gear is connected to the large gear so these are driver this gear is driver and this gear gear is driver in this gear train now we will see the working of the compound gear train when driver will rotate it will rotate the driven gear and this driven gear will rotate this driver this driver gear will rotate this driven gear so this is the compound gear train working thank you